we see the, these two people, Susie and Roberto, putting on a puppet show. And we're peering through the curtain. This picture puts the spotlight on the audience. Already, there's a figure mm -hmm. who stands out. Louis, and Louis this little yeah. boy that we see. Look, uh -huh. no mouth. Right. There's no mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're indicating that they don't even ever hear him talk. So he's a child who doesn't speak. Mm -hmm. Puppet show is about to begin. We're waiting for the magic, right? And immediately he stands. Yep. And you see other people reaching out, but it's not the same. This is something special. It's quiet, but it's strong. Uh -huh. What made this special for me was that Ezra Jack Keats used his mother's name for this puppet, Gussie. Mm. And um, she's the one that has all this uh, love and potential to give to Louis. Well, she has her little arms out, almost yeah. ready to embrace him, yeah. and bring him to her. And he says his words. And they're so surprised. No one's heard him speak. And it was only this one little line on this page. Hello. Hello. And the children understood that this one little word meant so much. He found his boy. <laughs> That's right. Through Gussie, he not only does he find hello, but then he rolls up a paper, makes it into a speaker. They stay and roll, and they say, what's going on? And Roberto says, it's Louis. He's standing up. We have to puppet. answer him through the puppet. Right. And they said, have Gussie answer, <laughs> just to keep in character. Enthralled, totally enthralled, this boy. And then I love the way Susie and Roberto want to continue that connection. Children understand other children. And they recognize that something's happened here. They bring Gussie to Louis. This was a momentous, huge breakthrough for him. And he doesn't know if he'll see Gussie again. And he's walking home alone, deep in his own his own sadness. And in his home, he's alone. And he's allowed his thoughts. His face. All yeah. that's going on here are his thoughts. So you can see he's grappling with whatever feelings he has of loss. He dreamed he was feeding Gussie from this A ice cream cone. A huge ice cream cone. Right, yeah. not just any ice cream cone. <laughs> Gussie disappears and he's falling. And there are kids all around, and they're making fun of him. And he probably was made fun of a lot as a quiet child who didn't speak. His mom wakes him up and says there's a note under the door. Right. Amazing. And I love this. It's attached to a long green string. Do you think he has any idea? No, no. Oh. Isn't that wonderful? It leads yes. him to hands Gussie. outstretched. No. Gussie, Just saying hello. And look at the movement in him. You can see he's flying yes. to the puppet. Life. You can see it in his clothing and it's yeah, every everything. Part of him is now alive. This story doesn't end. No. This story has just begun. And we don't know where it will go.